So today we're looking at Twisted Cotton Blend by Lion Brand. Now this is a cotton yarn, uh, it's a blend, cotton and acrylic. That's a very interesting yarn in my opinion because it's, I'm gonna get in real close here, it's kind of almost braided or woven. Uh, so it's not spun in your normal way of thinking about spun. It's more of a braided or a twisted, not twisted, but like interwoven style. And you can see it's got these like bigger chunks. So it's like a thin and thick type of yarn. Uh, and it was very easy to work with. Now they claim it to be a uh, bulky five. Uh, they suggest a size 10 or six millimeter knitting needle and a K 10 and a half inch or six and a half inch millimeter crochet hook. Uh, and that is what I used. I used my trusty unknown brand K hook and I used um, my increasingly trusty AC Moore on their uh, going out of business sale a set of interchangeable needles. I used these that tie size 10. They're pink. So let's look at some more details here. These, this is a three and a half ounce ball, uh, a 100 grams, 98 yards, 90 meters. They say it's going to take three balls to make a scarf, which I would agree. Uh, if you wanted a real decently sized scarf. And this particular color here is navy ecru. It's really hard to get some schmutz on my yarn, uh, but you can see it's if I get in real close, you can kind of see that it's navy. From farther away, it kind of looks black. Now, this particular one here is a black ecru. So it's a nice black blend. And this one down here is the hunter green. Uh, so I have three different colors. These will all be frogged and added into this one to make a decent uh, project. Something a little bit more usable than obviously these two. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for a blanket. After making this, um, it didn't really feel like a good blanket yarn. It did feel like a nice, like a summer, spring to summer or summer to fall transitional shawl kind of yarn, uh, or maybe like accessories for your kitchen kind of yarn. Um, it definitely has that kitchen twine look to it. Uh, so that would be an option, but it, it's a little, it's not really soft enough to me. It's very cottony, but not like a brushed cotton or a really nice blankety cotton, which you occasionally get. Uh, this definitely feels more like an accessories uh, or like a shawl or a cowl or a scarf that you would wear transitioning from summer to fall or from fall or from winter, uh, spring to summer. Not really a full winter uh, scarf yarn, uh, not really a full Probably a summery weight either. It's a little thick for that. So we can see I only got 28 inches total. It's not doubled over like we usually see. 28 inches total, or if you prefer metric, that's about 71 centimeters out of that. And I almost got a full uh, round here. So we're going to give it the benefit of the doubt. And that's about Where's my center here? There we go. Right to there. About 14 inches. We'll say 13 up to 14 inches wide. Uh, diameter. I'm not going to the center. What is going on here? I meant to be going here. My apologies. I went to the wrong one. 15 inches. It's 15 inches wide at the diameter of the ripple. Um, so you would need quite a few more of these to make a decently sized blanket. Solidly three balls to make a baby blanket, at least minimum. You probably want four to make sure you get there, uh, depending on your pattern, of course. At least two balls to make a decent scarf. Uh, you can probably three if you're knitting. If you're, if you're knitting th two to three, if you're crocheting, definitely three, again, depending on width uh, and pattern. All in all, it has that nice cottony feel. Uh, that acrylic should give it a little more bounce back than we're used to with the cotton. They, don't, they tend to kind of stretch out over time. 
It is machine washable and dryable, which is nice. Especially if you're going to be using this for kitchen projects. So that is uh, it for today. I will be back in a little bit with a part two where I take all three of these and put them together into a lovely pattern. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye.